All right, well, we'll get started here. Good evening. My name is Cindy Hickey. I'm the program instructor here for visual design and imaging and welcome to our open house here tonight. This is a little bit different than we obviously normally do it. We also have Mrs. Courtney Summers. She's an academic teacher here at TCTC. And we also have Ms. Gail Stark, who's a paraprofessional here at TCTC. And she's in actually in our uh, visual design classroom each day. So um, let me uh, take you through here. And let's start out by telling you, let me see if I can get, there we go, uh, about CTE and why CTE works. Um, TCTC is a nationally recognized career tech center and we do serve uh, Trumbull County juniors and senior students uh, from 20 partner schools here in uh, Trumbull County. At TCTC, our graduation, um, we have 93% of CTE students graduate from high school uh, compared to 80% of non-CTE students. Uh, CTE helps prepare. 91% of CTE students are better prepared for their future career compared to 44% of non-CTE students. And uh, CTE also helps you with learning. 90% of CTE students have the ability to learn those real world skills compared to 49% of non-CTE students. So there's some great statistics that show why CTE works and helps uh, students learn and go on to careers after they graduate high school. Um, visual design and imaging. Let's tell you a little bit about um, what you can do with visual design and imaging. You're gonna learn and develop skills. Um, you're gonna learn Mac operating systems. And uh, if you've never used a Mac before, it's not hard to learn and uh, use it all. We also work with Adobe Creative Cloud. You're going to learn and develop your skills with that. You'll learn how to design and produce projects from concept to completion. That's from your brainstorming, your ideas that you're first putting on paper to that final product that would go out to your customer. And uh, you're gonna learn how to interpret job specifications. Those job specifications I use a lot of times in a, an assignment and tell you what your project specifications are. So you're getting used to knowing what job specific, specific, specifications would look like, sorry. Um, you're learning how to estimate, order and deliver client projects on schedule because uh, meeting that deadline is really important. You're learning how to create a professional portfolio for college and employment that will showcase uh, the work that you do with digital photography, print media, and website designs. You're learning how to accelerate your success. Um, we, every student in visual design and imaging is a member of BPA and that's Business Professionals of America. You're also getting your OSHA certification before the first nine weeks of your junior year. That OSHA certification is something that students have put on their resume while they're in high school and has helped them with either achieve and get the job or go even further with the jobs they've already had. Um, Adobe certifications. And I also just need to state one more thing on uh, OSHA safety certifications. That's one of the top 20, 25 skills uh, that employers are looking for uh, employees to have. So that OSHA safety certification is a great certification for you to achieve and you get it your first nine weeks when you're in visual design and imaging during your junior year. Uh, Adobe certifications. This is something that you cannot just get by not knowing Adobe. Um, Adobe certifications say that you are not just knowledgeable of it, but that you are advanced in it. Um, so in visual design and imaging, you test for Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator throughout your junior and senior year. Um, you are also developing skills to gain employment and provide a transition to a course of study that could be a two-year, four-year bachelor's degree if you're choosing to go on to college in a variety of visual design and imaging career fields. Um, to be ready for TCTC, what do you need? Um, higher level English courses are recommended because that's helping you uh, achieve being able to prepare products because we don't want to send a product out that has um, any type of grammatical spelling errors and you want to be able to read and be able to use and do and write stories for uh, the work that you're putting out. Good communication skills are necessary. Written and oral communication skills are really necessary because you're going to be communicating back and forth with your clients or your employer. Um, positive attendance records are required uh, because once again, in this industry, 
um, you have to make sure that you're meeting the deadline. And if you're missing work, you're not going to meet your deadline. So to be ready for TCTC, you should have a positive attendance record. Visualization, basic computer skills, artistic ability, and out-of-the-box thinking are skills that help you succeed and go far in this field. Um, open to be, being open to learning hands-on exciting trade skills. There's a lot of exciting trade skills that you can learn in here that students that have uh, graduated from here are still working in. And you shouldn't have more than two credit deficiencies. And we're going to talk more on some of those skills and different things that you guys are going to learn. Um, this is our career tree. And this shows some careers that you can gain. Um, if you look on the right hand side, let's look at entry level careers. These are uh, careers that you could go into right out of high school, right out the door, just with completing the two year program. Um, those are advertising assistant, desktop publishing, entry level designer, freelance artist, help desk, customer service, page layout for print, photographer's assistant, salesperson, screen printer, sign designer, technical illustrator, t-shirt designer. Um, these are all skills that you're going to learn in this program, and you can put together a portfolio that showcases the skills that are needed for these entry-level careers, and with a good portfolio, you could walk out and get these jobs. If you look at the left-hand side, you can see technical careers, and these are careers that um, you may need an apprenticeship for. Uh, you might need an associate's degree. Um, it might require advanced certification, and that's where the Adobe certification comes in because Adobe certifications are advanced certification. Uh, with these technical careers, they may require also the experience. And depending on what you complete while you're here, you may have experience along with those advanced certifications that could put you in one of those te technical careers. So these are advertising copywriter animator, book illustrator, brand specialist, graphic designer, illustrator, logo designer, packaging designer, photographer, social media specialist, storyboard artist, and tattoo artist. Um, professional careers definitely require a degree, and these is, are what you're seeing on your top right. It might be a bachelor's. Um, the majority of them are. Some of them uh, for advanced Mint and uh, pay might require a master's or a PhD. Some of them might require specialized education, training, etc. cetera. Um, so you can see what those are here, advertising and marketing promotions, advertising art director and app designer, art teacher, concept designer, creative director, illustrator, uh, indus industrial designer, multimedia artist, public relations and communications, typographers, and web designers and webmasters. So that's just a quick look here at what our career tree is. Now, visual design by the numbers. Uh, our students get every year 100% certification achieving their OSHA certification. And we do, this is a first nine weeks, your junior year, we uh, do this in that way, you're able to put it on your resume, you're put, able to put it on job applications, and you have your first adult certification before you've complete your first nine weeks. Um, then we're working with Adobe. In the passage rate of students who have qualified for certification testing, that means they completed all the required assignments to be able to take uh, the certification testing in visual design and imaging for Photoshop and design and illustrator. The last two years, we've had 100% completion of their cert certification with the Photoshop certification. Um, in InDesign, even though last year the school closed, you know, everybody closed down in March, the students that uh, completed all their work and qualified, they achieved in, uh, when they tes tested for InDesign and Illustrator. And then the years before that, we had 79% and 88%. But um, I really have to push these numbers because they worked hard last year and they worked outside of the school day two to achieve those certifications. So um, they were able to walk away still with their certification. I wanna look at some screen printing skills. This is something we would normally do if you were here for career day, uh, you would be getting a chance to screen print. And this is one area where students leave and are able to gain immediate employment. Um, on the left hand side, you see screen prep. This is what seniors are learning how to do. Um, they're learning how to prep the screens, uh, but first they have to reclaim the screen from when it was used before. And you can see in the white booth there with the uh, pressure washer wand, um, they are reclaiming the screen. 
on the bottom left, uh, they're putting emulsion on the screens. They're preparing it to um, be able to receive the artwork. And then uh, down in that bottom, right next to the emulsion, uh, you can see the lid up and we're getting ready to burn the artwork on the screen there. So this is something that we do uh, every year as seniors, you're learning how to prepare the screens. On the right hand side, you can see um, where they are actually screen printing. And uh, standing up uh, facing us is Christina Murray and uh, she is actually now working in the screen printing field and she has been working there since she left uh, TCTC. And she's also a graphic artist for the screen printing company she's working for. Um, when Christina was here, we had one place where one student could screen print at a time. If you look to the right, we have um, upgraded and we now have where four students can be working at a time. And so this is when they were working on our Make-A-Wish t-shirts uh, last year. So screen printing uh, skills are something that you can walk away with and uh, gain employment opportunities immediately leaving the program. Heat press and bindery skills are skills that um, are necessary and needed um, if you're going into either of these. With heat press, there's many things that you can do. Uh, there's shirt designs. We just this year uh, added a multifunction heat press where we're going to be able to press on cups, shoes, um, so many different things. So if you're here next year, you'll get to see all of the fun things that we're able to do with that. On the right hand side, you can see some finishing processes with bindery. Um, packaging, if you've gone to all the work to design your um, product, you've printed everything out, you wanna make sure it goes out properly packaged so nothing happens with it. And then you can see on the bottom here, bindery with folding. Um, so there's different opportunities with employment. Uh, for you to walk into, into things that have heat press and bindery skills. Photo restoration skills. This is a huge um, thing that people and students can do from their house. Um, you learn how to scan in properly. You learn how to um, pre prepare the image, to restore the image. And on here, you can see on the left, uh, they did scanning. They worked with uh, resolution and file format. You can see there's pieces missing of this image. And um, this student repaired the image and then also researched uh, the history of this time period from the picture from her grandfather and uh, researched the colors of uniforms and everything and was able to colorize it. So photo restoration skills are um, out there and people are wanting to have their old picture scanned in and restored and digitized also. Now, there's lots of opportunities for art shows and competitions. Um, and art shows and competitions build your skills and it also builds your portfolio. So on the left, you can see um, self illustrations done by Elena Paya and she did these in um, Illustrator. And she chose to do a four color scheme uh, for the TCESC art show. Um, then you can see Katie McClellan. Um, we have a senior portfolio show that we uh, have out at the Eastwood Mall in the Art Outreach Gallery. And um, Katie took best of show and um, so we're hoping to return to our portfolio show uh, this year or next year uh, as COVID allows us to. Next, you see um, BPA competition for graphic design promotion. Danny Dennison went to national competition um, with this flyer and uh, took fifth, fourth place actually in the nation with this. So, and this is one of the things that he states um, is one of his favorite memories. And you're gonna see that on a slide in a moment. So then you can also see on the right hand side, these are pin designs that um, our students, junior and senior every year design for Ohio. We vote, um, only one pin design goes for, from the junior class and the senior class. And then for the whole state, they vote on 25 top pins that they put out for the entire state to vote on. And over the last five years, these are um, our pins that have gone to uh, be selected and have ended up in the top 25. So some great portfolio pieces here. Now, this is some more student work. Also, if uh, you know of SMASH, SMASH uh, is in each school, has uh, two or three representatives. And Tyler Wolf designed this SMASH logo either his junior or senior year, 2011 or 2012. And it has been used every year since then um, by SMASH in Trimble County. 
Um, coasters. Uh, coasters are one of the heat press products that you're able to make. And Drew Reedman, uh, senior year, made all of these illustrations in Illustrator and then uh, printed the coasters uh, to give us gifts. You can also see on the right hand side, our senior class every year designs um, different program covers and tickets that our administration uh, selects which one is going to be used for uh, that year's TCTC graduation. And so this is from two years ago here. All right, um, I wanna tell you some student testimonials because um, you wanna know what past students have said. Uh, the picture in the middle, you can see this is Danny Dennison. And he says one of his favorite memories was stepping on stage at nationals in Indianapolis. Uh, he said it was a once in a lifetime surreal feeling. And Danny graduated in 2014. He is now the lead graphic designer at HMC Holdings. He received his bachelor's in graphic, des graphic design from YSU after leaving TCTC. Um, he also said with his VDI skills, he said the skills learned in the VDI program, he says there's too many to explain. The principles of design bindery or print in pretty much all areas of the design industry. In his career, he uses InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator in his everyday routine, and he learned how to set up his files for print after working on projects in visual design. Christina Murray, who you saw earlier with screen printing, um, she's a 2015 grad. She said it was amazing to see our ideas we had in our heads come to life on the computer in later paper. Um, she is a screen printer at, and a graphic artist at Select Sportswear. And Kayla Briggs is a 2016 BDI grad. She said visual design was one of the best times of her life and she is now a freelancer with Upwork in photography. And she graduated um, from Pittsburgh Technical College after she left TCTC. Uh, Kayla also attended two national BPA competitions, one in Anaheim, California, and one in Boston, Massachusetts. Melissa Kaiser, um, we were with Skills USA when she was here, and she actually attended state competition for them. She's a 2012 VDI grad, and she said, one of the best decisions I made, uh, it really helped me when I went to college to already know the programs and not have to learn them when I first attended college. She now owns her own business, um, while she is uh, a brand new mother. So she's able to work from home and have her family life too. Um, and academics, I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Summers to tell you guys about academics. Hi guys, welcome. Um, it's nice to meet you. I am Mrs. Summers. I'm one of the math teachers here at TCTC. Um, so in addition to spending half of your day in your program, um, the other half of your day, you're going to complete your academics here at TCTC. Um, you will have a math and an English class, both your junior and senior years. And then you will have um, government one year and science the other year. Um, so, you know, if you have any academic questions, um, there are Zoom links to um, what would be the last session is at 7.30 coming up here. If anybody has questions, we offer um, a wide variety of CCP academic courses um, in math and English and in science. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, those Zoom meetings, um, the last one is happening at 7.30 tonight with some of our counselors. Um, you know, we're looking forward to seeing you guys here just as much as your program teachers are next year. Um, if you have any questions for me right now that I can answer about your academic courses, um, feel free to ask any time before this meeting's up. All right, and you guys are able, we'll stick around for a little bit too uh, when we finish. So if you have questions, uh, but we also wanna make sure we get you off to your next session. Um, so I just wanna remind you guys that the priority deadline to apply to get into the programs that you would really like to get into here at TCTC, that prior priority deadline is Friday, January 15th. So um, if you're wanting to make sure you get in a program, some of our programs do fill up and have waiting lists. Um, you wanna make sure that you do apply before Friday, January 15th. And then I wanna thank you for attending with us tonight. Um, if you do have questions, we're going to stick around here for a little bit, Mrs. Summers and I. And uh, she just put in the chat box, the link that you could register also for that 7.30 session for academics and CCP to get some more information. But um, if you have questions, feel free to um, unmute yourselves. We'd love to hear you. 
or uh, you could type in the chat box if you have any questions uh, concerning the program. So um, I'm definitely going to stick around here for the next five, uh, 10 minutes. I know the next sessions start at seven. So if you're registered for, registered for a session, we want to make sure that you're able to get on to that too. You guys can unmute yourselves and talk to us, or if you're more comfortable typing in the chat, um, we can answer your questions that way as well. So for jobs in the career, are they mainly in big cities? Not necessarily. Um, there are definitely jobs around here uh, in this area. Uh, there are obviously more um, larger opportunities, like if you go to Youngstown, Cleveland, Columbus, um, but there are jobs available around here. Um, coming right out of the program, if you're wanting to go into screen printing, there's a, we have a lot of screen printing uh, companies in this area. And not only are they screen printing, they're also looking for um, artists uh, and screen printers. And Christina that I showed you guys earlier, she started as a screen printer, um, but she's also worked as a, gra then she got hired on also as a graphic artist. So she's not only just doing the uh, work with applying the color to the screen, but she's also now working with uh, the artwork. So um, Prepare a portfolio, and there's definitely opportunities uh, to go um, local. Uh, I would always say, though, that um, there is probably more opportunities in, in the big cities. Uh, do you have a place that you are interested in, Abby? New Orleans. Oh gosh, there. I have a feeling there would be lots of opportunities there, um, because in the big cities you definitely have a lot. There is a lot more um, different different opportunities. So, I would say a large city like New Orleans definitely has a lot of careers. So, what do you think this course best? Okay. So, well. You are learning, we're, we're visual design and imaging, and you're learning the print side and the digital side for this. So you're learning how to do um, a lot of artwork, um, digital artwork, digital photography. We're, we work with digital photography also. Um, you're learning how to work with layouts. So um, graphic design, I always say graphic design is a perfect example. That's my background as a graphic design because you wear a tool belt that has a lot of skills in it. You learn skills with photography, you learn skills with illustration, you learn skills with layout, typography, um, logos, identity, packaging. Um, so I have students that leave here that go in and they're only working on the digital side. I have students that leave here and they want to be hands on working with screen printing, working with the printing. Um, you know, they just don't want to be behind a computer. I have um, quite a few students that actually have left and have started photography businesses also. And um, not all of them have decided to keep those photography businesses, but I love watching the ones that have flourished and just um, grown from that first picture they took during their junior year. So um, you're preparing for a digital side, a print side, you're preparing for, um, you kind of find this, that's the beauty of career tech is you kind of get to find out where you would like to go, like what, what area you would like to go to. When I first started, I had a student that um, really thought they wanted to be running an offset press, which we don't have those anymore, but she thought she wanted to be working on the dirty presses. Um, she went and did a job shadow, and that's something that you get to do uh, your junior year as you go job shadow. And she went in job shadow at a printing place and she came back and she said she had a horrible experience, but she had a great experience. She learned that she did not want to be working on a, in a print shop as the printer. 
She wanted to be the person on the computer designing all the digital designs and the layouts and books and all of that. So um, Career Tech uh, gets, lets you see which part of it you'd like to go to, or maybe it's not something you wanna to go to and you use those skills to put yourself through school or through training to go to another job. And I've had students who have done that um, and are very successful in what they're doing now. Thanks guys for asking us. Can we answer some more questions for you guys? And I just want to state too that you get to senior year, you walk away with the portfolio and I make sure that you have photography, illustration, layout. We make sure you have a well-rounded portfolio when you're even leaving here. Um, so would it be hard to get a job as a photographer, artist for book covers? Um, so maybe in this area, there may not be as many, but if you're looking at New Orleans, Abbey in the larger cities, that's where you definitely have your book manufacturers. Um, and so you want to put together like a really good portfolio as a photographer. And I tell you what, um, book covers, we actually have um, a substitute here that we've uh, now designed five books for. And he always has a student um, design that book cover while um, he's here. So that's a great thing for you guys to do. So um, that's, that's something that you are able to do. Um, so you're welcome. And we let you guys get a lot of um, just looking at different career websites while you're here. Uh, we have different assignments where you're looking at what careers are being hired for. So I'm having you look at like what skills they're hiring for. Um, do they require a degree? Do they require certification? So while you're in high school, you can start looking and seeing, this is my dream job. This is where I want to be. And this is what they require. And so, you know, I always say, take us for as much as you can get us for. Come here, get all the skills that you can get. So when you leave here, your tool belt is full of skills that um, you can go and get whatever you want. Um, and if that's going to college or going right into the career field, that's what we want to prepare you for. Well, thanks guys for attending. I don't, if you're registered for a seven o'clock session, I'm gonna let you guys get on to that. I really appreciate you guys attending. And if you have any questions at all, um, my email is up here. Uh, feel free to email me.